There are dairy farms in all 50 states, but most Americans have never set foot on a farm and don't really know where their dairy com- foods come from. So most people may not realize that there are about 42,000 dairy farm families and 1,200 dairy processors across the country. Joining us today is dairy farmer Joe Kelsey to give us an inside look at in modern farming. Joe, can you tell us about your day-to-day role on the dairy farm and in food production in general? Sure. You know, as, as uh, people become more and more separated from uh, connections directly to the farm, uh, the interest level really peaks on uh, where does my food come from and what, can, uh, what questions do I have and how can I get them answered. And so we're committed to really connecting with our customer and our consumer on our farm uh, to have a conversation, to really share uh, those, uh, those insights and uh, back and forth with the folks that really uh, enjoy our products uh, here from our dairy farm, our, our, our milk. Our job every day is to take the land and care for the animals to make food for people. Uh, and it's a, it is an extremely rewarding role uh, that we've done for generations here. My brother and I are generation number six, and we're raising generation number seven to take on the reins if they, if they so desire. Uh, but what a great way to spend your life. What are some new technology trends that help you be more efficient on the farm? Lots of great technology in the world of dairy. And whether that be uh, how we collect additional information about the day-to-day real-time activities of our cows, so we get some insight into uh, their activity, their milk production, uh, the way that they uh, chew and eat their food, those sorts of things. Uh, Or it be uh, the way that we raise uh, the feed for them to meet their nutritional needs, Uh, the understanding that we have, uh, the science and biology of developing a ration and building out uh, um, the ways that the, the, that feed can really meet their needs uh, as they as they go and eat the, the feed that we produce for them every day. Um, maybe it's even uh, to the tractors and the ways that we drive our tractors with uh, with self uh, automated uh, systems that help uh, drive them back and forth really really efficiently. Uh, and even down to the communication, the way that we can communicate with our team here on the farm to make sure protocols are followed, to make sure instructions are shared and insights are shared. Uh, but that goes beyond our farm. We do it with our team here, but we certainly uh, communicate with folks around the world. Besides technology, what else goes into your regular cow care? Uh, We're looking for ways every day on how we can better care for our animals. So whether that's providing them uh, a comfortable place to lay down, uh, it's a place for them to get uh, plenty of water and plenty of feed, uh, it's really spending time with the cow uh, and being cow-centric, thinking about the cow's experience here on the farm. How can we improve that? How can we make it better? Uh, How can we uh, develop new insights and collect new information uh, to help help uh, that experience move along. And I think back to my grandfather's day. I mean, you know, he, he did a lot of things here on our farm and taught me the importance of hard work and connecting with the cow, but their ability, you know, 50 years ago certainly was uh, not as robust as it is today to collect data, to analyze data, and to make decisions on that data. So as we look forward uh, from here, what uh, an exciting kind of picture that we see uh, when it comes to innovating even further uh, with uh, all these new tools that are available uh, on a daily daily basis. Beyond the milk, your farm supplies, how else is your family dairy connected to your local community? The local community is so important for us uh, and, and being a part of it. Uh, our farm land granted in 1837. Uh, we have such deep roots here in, in this community, uh, but I also think we have a responsibility, and I think that uh, that responsibility is shared amongst my, my dairy uh, colleagues around around the country. Uh, we want to connect with the people that live and work and play in the places where we are in business and, and the communities that we're involved in. So whether that be youth development like 4-H and FFA or uh, having preschools and elementary schools come out and visit the farm, um, that's one way to really help to start a conversation about where food comes from and, and the role that dairy can play uh, in, in the life of the community as well as, as a role it can play in your diet. Uh, but we also look to uh, civic organizations and, and leadership groups uh, where we can help uh, further develop and, and, and impact uh, the folks that are our neighbors and friends um, and, and just really start that conversation about where food comes from, how dairy farms work, uh, and, and understand each other uh, to a much deeper level. Uh, you, you know, it's, it's so important to connect with our community uh, and any way that we can find a way to do that is, is really important for us to do. Where can people go to learn more about dairy farming? Uh, I'm really glad you asked that. In a, in a general sense, undeniablydairy.org is a great source of information 
for the dairy community and what's happening in dairy. But I will encourage uh, uh, your listeners uh, and, and, and viewers to take a look at a local dairy farm. As you mentioned, there's 42,000 dairy farms sprinkled around the country. And uh, uh, our dairy community is so excited to have people uh, connect with them uh, on their farms. And so whether it's a phone conversation, uh, it's a visit to their farm, or maybe it's a side conversation at the soccer game, uh, these are great ways to connect with your local dairy uh, organization and, and the people that do this every day. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to talk with us today. Have sure. a great day. Thank you, Debbie.